You know, it's interesting to, to consider. Let me ask you what, you, what do you suppose is the richest county in the United States? What do you suppose is a county that has the highest per capita income? Well, now most people would say, well, that may be, maybe that's Westchester County, the high income county around near New York. Or maybe that's DuPage County north of Chicago, where the wealthy people live around Chicago. Or maybe it's one of the counties in Connecticut, the bedroom community for the executives of New York. All of those are high wage counties, but that isn't the highest county in the country. The highest income county in the country is a county in Virginia adjacent to, to uh, uh, the District of Columbia, which is a bedroom community for government employees. That's the highest income county in the country. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal just within the last week from which I cannot resist quoting something. Said the Wall Street Journal in this article about the federal civil service, as the civil service regulations have ballooned to fill 21 volumes some five feet thick, government managers have found it increasingly difficult to fire employers, employees. At the same time, promotions and merit increases have become almost automatic. The result is a bureaucracy nearly devoid of incentive and largely beyond anyone's control. Of the one million persons eligible last year for merit raises, only 600 did not receive them. Now, I have no reason to suppose that those, a lot of those million workers didn't deserve merit increases. But do you really think that 900 and 99,400 of them deserved merit increases? If so, you've had better experience with federal employees than I have had. <laughs>